Hey YouTube, this is Brandon. I got another video game pickup for you guys. I'm gonna let you guys know it's all from thrift stores. I th yeah, it's all thrift stores. Anyways, long story short, we're just gonna jump right into it. So today I picked up a GameCube Black controller. Paid $4.99 for it. It's nice. The thumb sticks nice and tight. So that was a pretty good deal. And then I got a gray, I guess, normal controller for N64 for $4.99. If you guys can see, it's got a nice tight uh, joystick. Next things I picked up, these are not game related, but anyways, I picked up a brand new copy of The Lion King, still sealed. You can see that nice uh, cellophane wrap or whatever they use. So I paid $3.99 for that, for The Lion King. Next one I picked up was a copy of uh, Beauty and the Beast. I just picked these up because they're Disney, uh, Disney movies and they're worth something to someone. Okay, continuing on, sorry. Next things that I got, I, uh, I actually uh, upgraded uh, in my collection. So this is just an empty case, a manual of Final Fantasy VII. With manual, there's no discs in this, so this is just a case. Essentially, if someone needs a case, let me know. Um, it does have a slight crack along the top, missing a piece, but that can be interchanged real easy. But overall, it's in nice condition, and it is black label, so that's nice. And then I got another copy of Chrono Cross from a buddy. So I got my disc copy. So there's two discs in here, just one and two in, I'd say, fair condition. Well, they were in my collection anyway, so they're not horrible. They're good enough to stay in my collection when I didn't have it, so they're in good condition. If someone needs a copy, let me know. And next, next ones, here, I'll do these two first. Next ones I paid uh, $3.99 each, and the first one was Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. On price charting, it says it's worth about $18 complete. So for $3.99, that was a pretty good deal. The next one's not complete, missing manual, and that is Mario Golf to Toadstool Tour, and it is uh, the player's choice. But for $3.99, I'm not going to pass up on a Mario game. I mean, the disc is in really nice shape, so I can't complain. Next one, my buddy actually found, and uh, Value Village marked it at $12.99, and I was jealous when I saw him when he got it, but uh, when we brought it up to the front, uh, this actually happened to me on a Diablo game, and then I'm like, oh, this is such a good game and everything, it was Diablo 1 for PlayStation 1, long story short is I'm like, jokingly, I'm like, wouldn't it be funny if it wasn't that game inside, and it turns out it was uh, Super Smash Brothers, but it came with the manual, so that's nice, and uh, they won twelve ninety nine for it, and my buddy said he didn't want it, so I ended up picking it up. And then I just said, "Hey, this isn't the right game, and everything." And how much did they charge me? Two bucks? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, they charged me like two or three bucks for it, I think. So I got a case for trade for the Master. No, this isn't Master Quest. This is uh, the Orcrean of Time Collector's Edition or whatever, I guess, uh, with the manual. If anyone needs the case and manual, and I also have for trade uh, the Smash Brothers disc, which is in. Relatively nice shape. I don't know if you guys can see. It doesn't look horrible. It's playable. Definitely playable. So yeah, that's that purchase. I've already done those. Okay. Next thing I picked up for what well, was actually attached to a Super Nintendo. It is the power cable for the Super Nintendo. It was behind the showcase. And it was a... Uh, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but it was a nice way of saying it. Uh, fresh off the boat. But uh, a little Asian lady that didn't really speak English well, and she worked there and everything. English well, wow, my English is amazingly well right now. Anyways, long story short is they wanted $69.99 for the system, or it was $59, I can't remember. Anyways, long story short, again, um, she was sitting there, I'm like, oh, this is nice. So I unplugged it from the system, because I needed a spare one. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll buy this. And she just kind of gave me a dumbfound look. I walked up to the front, and then I paid $1.99. For a Super Nintendo power adapter, which is in nice shape, so I can't complain. Next thing I picked up was a Super Nintendo controller. This is really bad. I probably should have took off the fucking elastic to show you guys. In really nice condition. Like no yellowing. And where did I pick this? Two there. Yeah, it was like two ninety nine because there's yeah. no price tag on it. Yeah, there's no price tag on it. Sorry, I'm talking to my buddy in that. He was there, too. Uh, it was $2.99 for this. So that's a pretty good deal. Can't go wrong. 
And the next thing, well, the last thing I picked up, I guess, over the last week was a uh, audio video uh, switcher. So plug one turns into three, and this was two ninety nine, I think. I can't remember. This is over the last week, so sorry guys if I can't remember the exact price. But that was like two ninety nine, so that was pretty good. And I will do an updated room tour right after this video, which if you're not even watching this in order, it doesn't really matter. There'll be an updated room tour for you guys because I got another couch for my basement and I've moved stuff around with the help of my buddy and my girlfriend. So stay tuned for that. Take care, YouTube. Comment, rate, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button at the bottom. Let me know what you guys think. Take care, YouTube.